Hey guys, it's Tim O'Keefe, Spider Juice Technologies, and you're looking at my and my uh, Facebook groups. And I wanted to talk to you today about getting into your social media so that your social media actually makes you money. And part of that process is to insert yourself into the into groups or niches that are of interest to you hopefully not just within your business but within your real interests uh, beyond your business uh, which you know if, if you have a dynamic eclectic uh, uh, situation within your business then that line will blur uh, and that's how it is kind of with me. I, I love figuring out the search engines. I love social media. I love, uh, I love propaganda, with, which kind of fits within social media. And I like, um, I like interacting with people. And so I look at social media. I look at Facebook, social media, Twitter, uh, any, any of these as digital chamber of commerces and so if you use that as your as your guideline as your governor of how you behave in social media then you'll begin to uh, be a little bit more focused in what you talk about and, and what you you go after uh, within within your post. The reason we're looking at groups is because it goes beyond the fan page, it goes beyond the profile, and you're actually going into niches that are preset. I mean, if you're in the St. Joseph Hawthorne class in 1978 group, okay, you only care about St. Joseph School Church from the era around 1978, okay? And you know what? These people are passionate. They're talking about stupid stuff like what they wore on their socks and uh, stuff they, uh, you know, little wading pools that were in um, that were in 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 Hawthorne at the time and and silly stuff like that 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 you know people are excited about in that niche and so uh, you know the business what I'm trying to tell you is the business is in within those niches now some of these niches that you might see there I'm never gonna get any business out of those it's just I'm interested in for instance I'm interested in hypnosis and NLP it's something that's interesting to me so I I jump into some of these and I jump out I might I might not um, be in that group after a while it might be a dead group or it just you know it's not interesting to me uh, it might be dynamic but it just isn't interesting to me um, and often by being active in in some of these groups uh, you'll find people that get into uh, and ask about uh, stuff that's within your um, your niche your your level uh, of expertise and the stuff that you provide and you could provide information and I could tell you uh, I'm gonna give you two examples of me getting business from Facebook uh, actually one wasn't business but it still um, was very important to me um, and that was uh, if you follow me in my personal profile on Facebook, you know that I coach youth football. Uh, this will be my 11th year. I'm quite passionate about it. Uh, I love helping uh, kids, young boys grow into men and learn responsibility and using football as that context to do it. Um, and uh, so I got uh, a very big name head football coach to contact me through email 
uh, and to find out about uh, participating in our league. So it's not a business thing, but it was a very big thing for our league because uh, he's given um, very generously, uh, very humbly, but very generously to our league through his time and, and talent. He's helped in uh, giving clinics. I'll tell you, it was Jim Morrow over at UCLA. And um, he is a great guy. I mean, he's really helped our program over at El Segundo Youth Football. That's a big deal to me, okay? So it might as well be a business thing. I mean, the amount of time I spend over doing football coaching, uh, my, my wife will tell you. But uh, – that's a big deal to to me. It's a big deal, more importantly, to the kids and to the to the organization. And he's given clinics. Uh, he's brought his whole staff over to teach us, and uh, he's been more than generous with his his time and talent. And uh, we're very appreciative. Another example is I uh, was I am involved in a uh, a real estate technology group on Facebook, and I offered some uh, advice to some of the people in there and to uh, so I, I got a client from there and I asked him you know how did you find me oh, he goes oh, I think I found you in some group in, in Facebook he had no idea where, where he found me but the, the point is that he I don't think is a very active participant and, and that doesn't shock me because what you'll get out of groups quite often, the groups, you know, one of the things that we, a lot of people won't participate in the groups because they don't want to give away, uh, you know, the, the big information. I don't want to give away all this information and, you know, my hard-earned knowledge and whatever. And you really don't have to. I mean, if you understand information marketing, quite often what we're giving away is, is, uh, is a compelling why. And... Uh, and uh, what we're selling either through information or through our services is a big how. And so what you'll often uh, find is within these groups, it's a lot of do-it-yourselfers. And, and, and as vendors of whatever it is that we're doing, in my case, SEO and development, uh, you might get a little bit, perturbed by that you know you might get a little bit insulted this guy's trying to be me and how can he be me i'm me well you don't have to give away the farm but you can give away good advice and good information when your opportunity arises you know obviously not all the time will you be able to insert your opinion into things that have nothing to do with anything that you have any awareness or knowledge of or expertise but when that time comes, you certainly can uh, give your expertise. And you'll have people that lurk. They go in and, and they know enough not to try to be a do-it-yourselfer. They're running a business and uh, they're running a business. and But they also want to be educated. So they'll go into, they're smart enough to know to go into uh, these various places in, in today's world and find good information. And so they'll end up in some of these groups where you, you know, if, if you're a prospect for them, they might show up. And that's pretty smart. And I suggest you do the same. Now, I'm going to give you an example where you don't have to be on Facebook. You can use old school technology old school as you know this is a lot of people we don't even use this word anymore um, but you know web 2.0 and we don't hear that that often anymore but that's what really Facebook and Twitter and that kind of stuff is the cool cool stuff that goes on your mobile phones and stuff like that but you know there's there's old school stuff and um, uh, I want to show you an idea now here I'm, I'm gonna go over to uh, the Torrance travel forum now where am I I'm on tripadvisor.com and 
TripAdvisor, of course, is a travel site, and they have a forum. Well, who might show up on that forum? People that are interested in moving to a particular area within uh, a, geog a geographic uh, location, I suppose. And so um, there's some topics going on, fireworks and torrents. Uh, I live in Torrance. Torrance has a pretty cool um, 4th of July uh, fireworks show, and so they're probably asking about that. Um, you know, whatever, dub or bar or club, I don't know. Um, so what you're looking here is for, you know, let's just say, for instance, we're a realtor, and I'm looking for people that um, – um, might be moving right so if I see somebody wanting to stay in a hotel or they're asking about a hotel a motel or whatever uh, this the, maybe they're relocating and and that's gold man if, if I can find if I'm a realtor and I could find somebody who is relocating I mean they're gonna be buying like really fast there's there's no incubation period on that lead they're they're coming so that's pretty cool let's see if there's any other uh, any ideas on a good medical doctor for a senior citizen? So if you're in the, you know, maybe the hospice business or, uh, you know, nurse, uh, in-home nurse kind of business, maybe this is where you would look. But so what I'm trying to teach you here is to learn how to data mine. And that's probably more important than knowing how to do social media and whatnot. Um, you know, a lot of people look at social media and, and their idea, first of all, it's not really social, it's more uh, broadcast blast to, to folks. And, and, uh, and, and you know, it's, it's okay. I mean, there's ways to use it. We teach uh, and, and do for our clients will use social media actually to help their so their their uh, SEO their organic search engine results because they're creating so much content and if they just do a few tweaks they can actually benefit their uh, their their organic uh, search results but uh, what I want to show you the, the two the, you know there's there's basically two ways to do social one is to actually be social the other way is to uh, to kind of act like a data miner and I guess there's three ways and the third way I'm sorry is to uh, to just be a broadcaster and in in this case what I'm showing you is how to do be a data miner now let's look at this one what is this one here this is Torrance the neighborhood so if this is where people start getting in adding to the forum and talking about the forum so this is just one post or one thread or uh, information one website called TripAdvisor but you know gosh where can I find more well board reader boardreader.com all you gotta do is go to board reader let's type in remodel okay so you type in remodel I'm a contractor let's say and I want to find conversations to get social in on old school 1.0 forums for the most part and I'm gonna go into this and I'm going to jump into conversations that are in the uh, in these different websites so that's boardreader.com. So there you go. That's how you enter the conversation. That's how you get off of the box that we know as Facebook or Twitter. Um, but since I mentioned Twitter, I'll also tell you you can go to search.twitter.com, type in remodel, type in city, you know, LA remodel or Torrance remodel or just Torrance. And you can find conversations that are going on within your marketplace. And, uh, and interest, and you might find people that actually are a lead. Uh, since I'm on this subject, let's just say also you can check out Craigslist. Craigslist has a wanted section. It also has a forum. Uh, so get creative. I've given you uh, enough to get started on, 
And I hope that uh, you're able to use this data mining technique to, uh, to get some new leads for yourself. If not, let us know and we'll be happy to, uh, to guide you and get you started on a service with us where we can get you traffic and leads. Tim O'Keefe, Spider Juice Technologies.